Serious civil defence volunteers known as the White Helmets have been putting themselves in harm's way since 2013, trying to save lives. These unarmed men and women have featured in amateur and press agency footage for the last five years of war in countless dangerous situations, digging people out of ruined buildings as bombs fall around them. <laughs> This is my hand. Do you see me? Don't be afraid. Look, I want to break this stone so you can get out. Help me. Give me your hand. You're almost out. The organisation insists it's apolitical, but it's accused by Moscow and Damascus of being close to what they call terrorist groups. It intervenes in areas beyond the government's control. And in New York, the White Helmet leader, Riyad al Salah, has announced that eastern Aleppo is dying under the weight of bombs and has called for aid donations. So in the past eight days, we have witnessed a ferocious campaign against Aleppo. We've documented 1,700 airstrikes on the city of Aleppo. 19 of those have been attacks with bunker busters and 200 cluster bomb attacks. There are around 3,000 male and female White Helmet volunteers from all over Syria. Butchers and bakers, engineers or school teachers, people from all walks of life have answered the call. We have 120 volunteers with the White Helmets in the city of Aleppo today. 12 of them have been injured and so we're trying to convene training sessions in the town of Aleppo to recruit new volunteers because of this ferocious bombing campaign that's unprecedented in Aleppo. Pictures that last week showed a woman and her four-month-old baby being saved by the White Helmets went around the world. Her relief was palpable, but no less revealing were the tears shed by the exhausted rescue worker afterwards. On the White Helmets website, the organisation claims to have saved more than 62,000 people since 2013. It has also lost 145 volunteers killed in the bombardments.